gentlemen, welcome to an episode of My First Match with Andrews, and I'm joined by Trent Seven. Hello. Tyler Bates. Hi. Mustache Mountain. Yes. Today we're going to watch Tyler's first match. Wow. And I, I'm assuming it's going to be a five star class. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. How old were you in this match? Oh, I was 14. 14? Wow. And you're or against. 15? That's actually mad because you're probably more jacked in this than I am now. <laughs> you're against Pete Dunn and his brother. Damien Dunn. <laughs> yeah. Who are you tagging with at this point, you traitor? A guy called Seb Skyler. Yeah, where are you? Good. Is that actually the original Mustache Mountain? Has he got a beard? <laughs> Pre Has he got a beard? <laughs> Fair play for a first match. Production values are up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Look at you. Nice. Come on. What's on your oh, gum shield? Nice. He's got a gum shield and a chest. I would say, fair play for 15 years old, you, you actually are. I'd say as Jack to only more Jack than me now. <laughs> oh, really bad. Actually. You look good for a 15 year old. I think you might even be uh, sporting kick pads. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I really haven't changed. I've had a lot. I don't think. And the hair, look at that. Look at the, yeah, man, look the scowl. Ruthless. God, you're so good. Why were you even. You were good then? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a moustache, the bastard. That's <laughs> big Seb. I know him. Wait, didn't he run a promotion himself? I don't know. Is this your first? This can't be your first match. Yeah, you're walking around like you're the best wrestler of all time. Look here, pacing. Do you? You're probably the best example that, um, like, the confidence mixed with some natural talent is probably all you need to be. <laughs> I'm not saying there's been no hard work, no. Since, but right here, like, you know, you probably could have just rocked up without going to training and being like, yeah, best wrestler in the world. Uh, or at least, least on this show. At least look like, just look like you know what you do. That's, that's the secret. Who would you been trained by at this point? Um, ben and I and don't know. Pete? I don't know if you'd even met. No, I think it was this. Hadn't. It was literally as uh, almost as soon. Oh, well, maybe you'd been. have done some training with me. No, I don't think so. I think because this, I would have been trained mostly by Kevin O'Neill at this point, mm. and then a bit by Pete because Abbas started trying to yeah. run. Uh, training and Pete and Ryan Small were the trainers. Oh yeah. yeah, and they haven't done like anything at that point either, yeah. as well. So yeah, <laughs> there you go, Pete uh, Dunn, the Dunn brothers in their um, Dunn Bros. Yeah, the Dunn Bros. in the old classic skull trunks. Um, Very they emo. Years. Yeah, it's classic. emo. Classic emo. As emo as it gets, really. Here we go. Seb's gonna start it off. I think. I Never think. I think Pete Dunn is off, obviously. Think, yeah. Don't Pete Dunn is sporting a uh, high spots version of low keys. Oh, he yeah. is with the old the low key design. Running. Yeah. One nice. of the best things about doing this show is noticing the gear and where it's from. Oh yeah. Oh, they're Elucha. they're kick pad. They're they high spots. No, they're Elucha. No. Are they? Really? I remember Elucha those kick pads are like big baggy Elucha ones. Yeah, the really wide at the bottom ones. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very loose. Already working the crowd on the outside, look at you, doing like, like you know, helping your, your opponent along. So how long have you been training? my opponent along. You know, giving a clap, <laughs> moral support. <laughs> no, I was a bad in. He didn't want to go down then. That was great. <laughs> Don't mind to put him in a top wrist lock and he's Oh like, yeah, no. he's just refused. No, no. Nice lock, there we go. We're going to the ground yet. So yeah, how long have you been training at this point? Um. So I, here, I, I started training when I was 14 in June. So I've, I've probably been rest, like, training for about a year. That's a very small ring. But maybe just over a year. Yeah, whose ring is that? I'm trying to think. Is that? No idea. That is a 14. Probably. That is the Pro EVW ring. So it might, yeah, it would have been. I'm pretty sure it would have Is that Pals Reffin as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Laurie. Do you remember Laurie? Yeah! Who's yeah, Laurie? Was he the announcer, I think? Who does Kamikaze? Yeah. Oh! Dirty heel. Were you nervous before this or just super chilled out? Um. I, I, was, just, I was pretty chilled. Damo, the springboard back in I don't know. I, just, I think I just felt quite confident with Damo and P. Yeah. Here we go. Young Tyler Bates. This time. I think you're going to get a double tap. I think we might see the first ever Pete versus Tyler exchange here. This is the so nuts. Nice. This is so historic. It's nuts to think that this your first history. match and your first, like, in, in your first match, the first thing you do is against Pete. That's so crazy. <laughs> Flash forward, like, the less first, than 10 years later. There you go. Yeah. That's the first wrestling movie you ever did in front of a paying crowd. Yeah. 
Oh, what would you do now if they just did the exact takeover match? <laughs> <laughs> move for move. Uh, yeah. I'd say Spoil that. <laughs> those, those fans were absolutely treated. Look at this. You were technically very sound, weren't you? From start, like your training must have been good, like, like body mobility. Yeah, I, I was just, just kind of understood. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just quite handy. Did you go to the hey, gym at this point? Straight to that f-ing wrist. I sorry, probably sorry. just started going to the gym like body, properly body. at this point. Boop. I'd always been like an active kid, and like athletic and stuff. Yeah. I said gymnastics and stuff like that. Yeah, and even when I didn't do gymnastics, I was always like out and stuff with my friends. How do you even know that? It's so funny. Yeah, my first match is like wrist lock, wrist lock. Yours is like, oh, well, wrist lock. Go into a cool little grapevine here. <laughs> oh no. I remember. I mean, obviously, yeah. Staying, stay tuned to the uh, episodic series of this for uh, potentially. The first ever. Trent Seven's first Trent match. Seven. Now, I remember, I might even have it on my Bang. notes on my phone. Look at me. Oh! First oh, Sabak kick into that! You could have just been in the X Division. Ah! <laughs> Pete's busted out of Lucha. Old school send. Look at this. Ah! Oh, successful oh. drop down. <laughs> successful <laughs> drop down. Oh, look at the leg. This reminds me of watching, like, I don't know. Like old school world of sport levels. Oh, like, you know, look at this man. This is out. That is straight out of the John Gresham seminar playbook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Mike Quackenbush actually. Oh, maybe, yeah. Uh, it, I think it was Gresham. It was, Gresh. it was amazing. How old are you now? 22. Yeah. So this is seven, let's say it's seven years ago. So Pete would have been 17. So Pete hadn't been to like America at this point or anything, right? Yeah. Mm. It was before Japan as well. Yeah, before Japan, yeah. Yeah, because he had the tackle gear, didn't he? I guess Pete had been wrestling for about oh, five or six years at this point. Oh, there we go. Damo had probably been wrestling even longer. She's more like 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Damo would be wrestling 15 20 years. years at this point, yeah. I, think I think he's looking into his third decade. Now. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of height on that. Mate, you're, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I know you get this enough with your current wrestling, but even when your first match, you were made to wrestle. <laughs> this is literally like I, I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't think you'd be this kind of uh, look, this experienced in the ring. You know what I mean? I, that's what a lot of people said at the time. Is that I, I at least looked like I'd had matches before. Yeah, you look like you had a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's things it's that you're doing in this which I don't do now <laughs> after the 15 ha- years the, the of wrestling half, the half of the professional wrestling world in Britrest doesn't yeah, it yeah <laughs> the fact that you walked out and acknowledged that there was a crowd there yeah yeah, yeah that's that's it abs- you know that's something that I don't see yeah Th- things that shouldn't have to be uh, kind of taught but yeah. yeah you must have been the ideal trainee <laughs> back when you were you know I was, I was trainee of the month look at I the oh, yeah. so, <laughs> there was like a trainee of the month trainee of the month thing that Kevin me oh that's a really sweet thing look at that lovely a cane punch to the gut <laughs> Damn right, it was a cane punch. Yeah. The Intercontinental title is sat at home. Yeah. With the cane name play on it. <gasps> really? Oh, yeah, cane's a big influence, obviously. Yeah. Can see As you can see here, Mr. Slog. Oh, oh no. look at that. Yeah, so that's where your lack of experience comes in, though, isn't it? This is an absolute clinic. It's like, it's, a, it's a 25 minute tag, this is. Yeah. For your first ever match. <laughs> what? We watch our first matches and it's like 10 minutes of uh, doing a suplex. I'm like, oh, screw that. I'm like, I'm like accidentally you hitting, your right right arm. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. hitting your own tag partner accidentally. Oh no! <laughs> and then you're here doing this like sick chain wrestling. I'll just, even when I started. We're going to get a control mutilation here. Oh. Oh. Even when I first started training, all I would do was like my best impression of wrestlers that I liked. Yeah. But I'll just do my best Rob Van Damme impression. Yeah. Which was pretty the closest sick. I could get to moving like it. He did the back thing. Better. Oh, look at this. You haven't even tagged in. You're not even legal, mates. Look at that. Oh, I can't tell you, man. <laughs> Blatant cheating, but the ref is just there. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? Look, um, I'm going to take this opportunity to, uh, uh, to throw this out there. If you look at everyone individually that's in this match, mm. they've, you know, come on leaps and bounds over the course of the last seven years. That's Paz yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paz, that's Paz yesterday. <laughs> He's got exactly the same hair. He hasn't even changed his gear, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh! Quite look at him! Getting nasty with the crowd in there! Trash talking! Wow, oh, look at this! Pow! <laughs> And his shirt's still untucked, Paz. <laughs> <laughs> Less tattoos, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Same level of enthusiasm. You should have Paz on for him. Paz's first match. Paz's first match. This is him. <laughs> yeah, Paz's first match is in 1973, and he looks like that, because he's actually mortal. And he could just like, drop into different dimensions of wrestling and just be Paz somewhere. <laughs> oh, look at that. Pete Dunne bridging out of it. It's crazy. If, if I feel like if the scene was better back in the days, so it was similar to how uh, friendly. It was friendly. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was. Don't want to hurt you that much because you might beat me up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that was good. Yeah. yeah. Was good. Nice for him to the neutral rope as well. Like every experienced tag wrestler would do. Ah, oh, Damo, come on, hold on to the tag rope now. <laughs> I'm, yeah, to be honest, I'm just impressed that you can pull off trunks in your first match. Like, I was wearing like baggy pleathers and a t-shirt. You know, you look decent in trunks right there. I have mine. Thanks. Just in case you needed the confidence to lose, you know, the <laughs> pretty good Great. Great. <laughs> Gains. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Make the tag, Pete. Make the tag. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> yeah, you're free now. Yeah, you're a free man. Oh. Friendly fire, I bet you. Oh! <laughs> Your partner said he was a bit slow. I'm pretty that. sure being a matter of time. He's, oh, he's just not under that much stress. Yeah, no. he's just thinking he's, he's, got, it, he's got it under control. Oh, oh no. there we go! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh! Big dueling arm drags. That's. Is it not comeback time? How many? I don't know. How many, that is just to get yeah. that. How many, uh, we heat How many people were in the crowd with this? Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Nuts. That's Look at this. Pete back in, getting the pin. That was only a time, that was the, that was the uh, first heat. Yeah. Oh, you're going straight back to it now, here we go. Damien has done nothing in this match so far. Yeah. Oh. Good vintage combo. done, bros. Vintage Dumbros here. One thing I remember about this ring was how ginormous the turnbuckle pads were. Yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're massive. And they make the ring look smaller yeah. than it already it, is. It makes it, if they're normal sized turnbuckle pads, then this ring is six foot by six foot. <laughs> What's what? going on now? Oh, oh, you knew you were such a swine. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Leg Lariat. <laughs> come on, pads, come on. Nice. <laughs> YouTube. This is from YouTube. Yeah. It, it got taken off YouTube. I, I was the one that put it on YouTube like yeah. weeks after it happened. And then I, I took it down, but then. Someone snapped me. After I've taken it down, I think I must have just lost the camera that it was. That was on, on yeah. And then. It's nuts, like the footage which is out there on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like I said, your first yeah, This match, is just on YouTube and I didn't know. <laughs> Fan cam. Some guys yeah, like, this guy's gonna be a star. <laughs> I think this might be a fan cam though, because this wasn't where my mum was sat. Oh really? No, no. Oh yeah, did your mum travel up to see it then? Or did she drive it? She, she, she drove us, yeah. Ah, oh, Your parents have always been super supportive of the rest of them, which makes all the difference. Yeah. I remember mean, like my parents were super, well, my dad, especially my dad, they drive me around the country and stuff. And it's funny, isn't it? Because like, it's crazy to think how young we start in the UK. Like you're 15 years old, so your mum drives you to the show. You know, it's really yeah. sweet, isn't it? You know, it's, like it's definitely. A For me, it almost makes more sense than getting in a car with loads of men. Yeah, that's actually like yeah, very like, true. You know, it's quite, it's quite a daunting thing at 14, 15. Yeah. You know, if you're a young wrestler, yeah. like, people who do this for a living. Trying to make conversation with like geezers. And yeah. Blokes. I remember feeling when I started wrestling, like I matured faster than my friends because I was socialising with like yeah. older people and stuff. You probably felt the same, right? Like you were getting class with Pete and Damien who were like maybe 18, 20 and stuff. Mm. You know? Oh! Big sunset. I've got a question, Tom. Are you wearing a watch? Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you wrestling in a watch? <laughs> a Casio. <laughs> no. Or is it like no, a it was. I think it was a, just like a band, yeah. Uh, uh, like the I think it had like a train fog in it or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh cool. Representing. Yeah. So everyone knew. <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> oh, I used to, I used to wear like Fort Club Pro t-shirts yeah. like in my entrance to like for the yeah. that's awesome promotions and stuff. it was great this is nuts <laughs> I think yeah. I've forgotten really what I was cool. doing here. So I, I remember... <laughs> Jay Moses just been, cool. yeah. Maybe I'll send him and then... Oh! Oh! oh, yeah. oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You walked into that going like, what oh, is that bit? Oh. Strikes me! Like you're and you're like, oh, anything could happen there. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool that you were... Around. I guess the Midlands was a really good wrestling team, if you think about it. Like, between Fight Club Pro... So like you and Zaki, and then you had Pete, Damien, and even stuff like that, you had Triple X and stuff like that, because you worked with them for a bit while, didn't you? Yeah. I used to go and watch Triple X. It's great. There we go, and Pete Dunn. Oh, we closed line! Yeah, Triple X was loads of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Brian Danielson versus Zach Zach Sabre. Zach Sabre, that was nuts. Oh! At this point, did you think to yourself, yeah, give it five years, we'll be headline and take over. <laughs> we'll have match of the year, 2018 WWE. Yeah, we'll, have a, we'll have a series of matches that will go down in the annals of history. Oh, Dragon Screw on his comeback. It's crazy to think how many, like, like you wore trunks here, but I'm pretty sure you always wore trunks in wrestling, like from, from then until now. Yeah. Whereas Pete had, like, he went from, like, pleathers to trunks. Oh, yeah, Pete had like a million different looks. There was yeah, that Takamishinoku. Takamishinoku. There was the one with, with the singlet as well. Well, when yeah. he had the tights and the singlet. Yeah, with the denim. Yeah, no, like there, denim. Were, there were some ones Three that were like leggings. Yeah, yeah. Three yeah they were like the women's three. jeggings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was when he started becoming really right? Yeah, he started becoming like a, like a little bit overly aggressive. Like aggressive. That was when he started, started getting yeah. massive as well. Yeah, he, was yeah. Like, he, started he did that like 160 gym. chest up. Like, Bench pressed in oh, yeah. like 19 years old. Yeah. This is actually oh. so crazy to watch. It's you so would be like, as if like... your first map. Oh, oh, look, hey! <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> as if the first, first ever move you did in a wrestling match was against him. Yeah, the that's first really lock-up. like. It's so weird. It's like poetic, isn't it? You yeah. know what I mean? That's nuts. Like I want to think, think that insane. there is a match before it and you just decided not to do it, just so this, this is the coolest. But yeah. it is actually just the truth. Yeah. Because oh. um, my second match was against Chris at Great Bear. Yeah. It was like a few oh, months after. Chris Brooks. Yeah. yeah. But say, yeah, after this, how regularly were you wrestling? Did you get like a load of. Uh, <gasps> um, oh, here oh, we yeah. go. <laughs> sec- the Vipers what slid in. Then? <laughs> <I> <laughs> went to just from. Is Randy Orton? No, he was doing the old Randy Orton. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you want to be fellow? Ric Flair's. Yeah, did you wrestle regularly after this then, or? Um, I was doing Great Bear, like, every few months, and I think, <gasps> I think from Great, I think oh, from great Bear, himself, I got to Triple X. And then, then Fight Club, mm. pretty soon, Oh yeah, I was still like, same year. Fight Club, yeah. yeah, same year. And then Attack, I guess, <laughs> relatively Yeah, Fight Club that. would have been, it was like, early in the year, it, would, it was like, January, February time, yeah. and this was June of oh, the, the year before. That's pretty sick. And that's when I mean I know Fight Club was always had loads of hype, but I like, was successful. But I guess you could come in as like a trainee and do a trainee match and stuff like that, right? For your first first year. To Jerry. Unbelievable. That's like yeah, the the old school version of your Bam Bam Larry, the original. Version. Imagine if you just done it there. I thought you were going to. <gasps> Not Storm. Right? No. Oh! You ain't in German. He doesn't do it that good now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, again, he was a lot smaller back then, so. <laughs> oh, he died. Oh, Randy yeah. Orton. That's what he was after. You know what? Damien Dunn's an, under, an, an underrated talent, oh, isn't he? Nice He's such a good wrestler. Oh, Ooh, coffin drop. Yeah. Oh, true. One, two. Nice. This is so, I know we've said it for the whole thing, but this is so impressive for a first match. If I saw this oh, on the show now... Happened. In all yeah, fairness, so how many matches had Pete had at this point of his life? He was working he was very regularly for LDN, I think, oh, so okay, he's yeah. super experienced. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cover him, cover him. I love how when you cover, you put the, the you know, forearm over the face. Know. I think it was like Dave Mastiff who... Like, Look, told me at the time mm. I cover a lot of that. Did you have a lot of training with him, like seminars and stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah he bits and bobs, yeah. He basically 
talkless person. He's another one who was really yeah. ahead of his time. There were a few the times where he'd come to Kev's and then he would come to the yeah. to fight club. Yeah. Yeah. He was someone who yeah, he was kind of like the generation in between our generation and the one before us who yeah. kind of could teach us all a lot, couldn't he? Bit of a veteran, like yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna do a giant spin? A super kick. Oh. oh. I don't know what I was going to do, actually. Did your partner just kick you a minute ago? Or did I, I make think, that up? Yeah. Mate, I think he kicked Damien. Oh, I look like he just... Oh, I remember this. Attack, attack. Yeah. Backstabber. Oh, oh no. double stomp. This is vintage Dunbros again. Yeah. Dunbros. Dunbros? <laughs> I think it was the attack. I was like, Dunbros! Oh, oh this stand him dead. One, two, two three. Is that real? Is that real? That's it. Big pop. Look at that. Big pop. That was That's fantastic. epic. All in all, that was probably like a seven star first match. <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah. a seven star, fantastic. hundredth match to be honest. That was yeah. super good. Yeah. If you had any advice for yourself looking back, would you would you say anything? Um, no, just be consistent. It, it, it's you more like you consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just consistency it? with attitude and just when it's time to just perform, you have to give it like 110% conviction. Like whether it is comedy or you have to be like a 15 year old heel. Like you have to yeah, just yeah. somehow find a way to believe it and then just portray it as yeah. best. That's as genuine, I think that's probably been right, your biggest asset throughout your entire career. Watching loads of different kinds of wrestling. Yeah. And just humbly being a student to the game like all the time. Everybody before they started wrestling or at least most people anyway would have wrestled with someone in their back garden or in their living room or over like around the park or something. You would just, like I said, do your best impression yeah. of your favourite wrestlers. You would do your best impression of The Rock. Pretty much all, all, I, all I ever did. Yeah. And it worked out and really was, well. It's, it's all I still do today. I, I, even today I still just do my best impression of wrestlers that I would like to be like, like the Dynamite Kid. I just do my best impression of him when I wrestle. Yeah. And like Davey Boy and stuff like that. Yeah. You know. It's always been so much harder then to be a wrestler. Yeah. To get on shows like that was yeah. hard. You had to it's harder country. to be a wrestler and you know, that's not taking anything away from anyone now, but it was harder to be a wrestler then. You, yeah. had to, you know, Pete tells all the stories of him, you know, six people in a fit, Punto going down to the south coast to wrestle yeah. for there was one to pay to wrestle. Yeah, yeah. there was one yeah. great bar, uh, great bear show. It had like me, Pete, uh, Zach Saber Jr., Marty Skrull, Dean Allmark, Dean Allmark, on, and it drew like twelve people. <laughs> you know, that would be like a, an all-star British. Oh, yeah, thousand six. Yeah, that's so really? sick to see you and Pete locking horns in the first match ever. Mm. Probably peaks like 500 for that year. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe below. Comment with who you want to see on this show. Who do you guys want to see on this show? Um, you get Sean or Triple H to Sean Michaels' first match would be the best thing <sighs> ever. You think we could get Chris Roberts' first match? Yes. Uh, Apparently yeah. he wears glasses. All right, all right. In the match! Really? <laughs> to I, I feel like Damien would be a good one, though. Yeah, Damien. Damien done. We'll get that one sorted. Yeah. Sick. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>